If you've come to plunder these ruins, I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. One of my competitors has really made a mess of things. We suffered a major setback at the hands of Artisan Lenarman, a grave robber of exceptionally low breeding. He's looking for an artifact, you see, and thought he could use us to find it. I managed to escape, but left my Dwemer control rod behind. The heart of Lorcan, as if it even exists. The irony is that this ruin really does contain an item of power, a Dwemer relic called a Pathark Prism. If you help me rescue my aides, retrieve my rod, and obtain this prism, I'd happily compensate you. With the exception of capable bodyguards like Vimy Lacroix, finding competent assistance has proven difficult. Unfortunately, she and I were separated during our escape. I suggest you begin searching for Vimy at our camp inside the ruins. That's an excellent question. Scholarship on the subject leaves much to be desired. One of my less daring contemporaries believes it might function as a kind of codex, translating tonal patterns into legible script. Difficult to say. A tonal codex sounds almost too good to be true. But I don't have the luxury of dismissing such rumors out of hand, particularly when a scoundrel like Lenarman takes interest. Because he's an incompetent fraud. The fool couldn't find dirt if he fell off a horse. He needs an experienced scholar to guide him through the ruin. You see, Lenarman believes this might be the final resting place of the heart of Lorca. Not familiar with the myth? Priests will tell you that the god Lorca tricked various divine forces into creating the world. This upset the natural order of things, and so his fellow gods yanked his heart out as punishment. Don't be ridiculous. The heart of Lorcan is a work of pure fantasy. Unless you believe it plausible that Oriel attached Lorcan's talking heart to an arrow and shot it across the sea. We'll find no ancient god hearts here. Sorry to disappoint. Yes, one of my own design. A fine piece of craftsmanship if I do say so myself. I hope those thugs didn't break it when they stole it from me. The rod exerts control over Dwemer Automata. Even a fool like Lenarman could cause some havoc with it. Yes, and I'm sure he's using it to great effect. The Rod can deactivate some of the machines and turn others into allies. Far too powerful a device for the likes of Lenarman. When you face him, make sure you retrieve that Rod. Easy does it, you're safe now. You're not one of Lenarman's thugs, are you? No, you look too smart for that. Full disclosure, this place is crawling with mercenaries and automata. I wouldn't linger if I were you. Unless you're the adventurous type, of course. Hmm, Naramo wants you to snatch his stupid control rod back from that oaf Lenarman, right? Well, we've got bigger problems. I rescued this lot from Lenarman's mercenaries, but they still have our dig leader Kasuda and two others. Well, if you're feeling spry, you could try to track down some information about this Bethark prism Naramo keeps yammering about. I was ready to cut and run, but with your help, we might still be able to turn a profit on this disaster. We're really doing this, huh? I hope Kasuda and the others appreciate the effort. Lotail will get this lot back to the surface. Naramo and I will be right behind you. Like I said before, Naramo hired Kasuda to lead the dig. She's tough as they come, organized too. She made my job a lot easier, I can tell you that. Most of the time I have to whip the party into shape every now and again. Not with Kasuda. Right, Tholador and Tyrnia. Tholador's a sharp-eyed wood elf, we brought him on to look for traps. Tyrnia's a sellsword like Loda Eel. Unfortunately, they're both mouthy as Aelets. I hope they haven't made Lenarman mad enough to kill them. Yeah. The Chulif tank's chock full of dark corners and hidden perches. We made it about halfway through the ruin, then Lenarman's goons came down on us like a sack full of hammers. 
I got Naramo out, but he lost his rod during the scuffle. I did. Pulling Duran and Brain out wasn't too hard, but Loda Eel was anxious to dole out some justice along the way. Ended up stabbing and hacking our way out. We really stirred up the hornet's nest. Now Lenarman's thugs are on high alert. Hey, I just work here. If Naramo says the heart isn't here, that's good enough for me. My only concern is rescuing our diggers and keeping them safe. Of course, finding some loot sure wouldn't hurt. My brother and I signed on with Naramo because we needed the money. We knew it would be dangerous, but nothing like this. If Vimi hadn't rescued us, we'd be dead as tailless squaws. I don't know how we're gonna get Duran out of here. Wow. No offense, friend. I know secret paths through the ruins. We will shadow our intrepid assistant and help as opportunities present themselves. I hope you're suitably prepared. Natul of Tinkth promises to be quite a challenge. You can rest easy knowing that Vimy and I will be right behind you. Well, a good distance behind you. But you can count on me for moral support. Well, I'm certain we can aid you with the constructs and traps. Even without my control rod, I'm a capable dungeoneer. Then, once we retrieve the rod, I can assist you even further. We should be able to rally some of these automata to help us. I erect the spine of warning, stranger. Do not seek to harm those I protect, and I will not seek to harm you. You're a lifesaver, literally. Watch for steam vents up ahead. They always hiss before they fire, all right? Good luck. I'm getting out of here.
Whoever you are, thank you. Lenarman went deeper into the ruin. You can catch him if you hurry. I have to get back to the expedition. Don't go easy on these brutes, all right? His sorry breaches. I was beginning to lose hope. Lenarman's ahead, still struggling with Naramo's control rod. I think I can make it back on my own. Be careful down here, friend. Catch that if I were you. One moment. One down. And the other. All yours. Let's hope that rod still works, because otherwise, this will get really tedious.
Fine work retrieving the device. Good help is so hard to find. No offense, Vimi. Now, the control rod, if you please. Wonderful. Now, we simply tighten the capacitor, reset the tonal frequency, and... Oh. Lenarman somehow managed to crack the resonator crystal. That, of course, led to a catastrophic misalignment of the tonal assembly. In other words, this rod is useless. I've never seen one of my tools so thoroughly ruined. I'm almost impressed. No, but it's not a total loss. With the rod broken, Lenarman cannot turn any more of the automata against us. That may hamper his progress as well. Small victories, yes? We're close. I know it. We must keep moving forward. We've got a horde of mercenaries searching for us and scads of dwarven death machines prowling around, but hey! At least we've got a broken control rod now, right? Well, enough talk. Off we go, huh? to bad scholars. Onward to the prison. That's remarkably unimpressive. Looks can be deceiving, my dear Vimi. This is our prize. Hooray. I wouldn't mind taking a look around this vault before we leave. Quite a trove we've discovered. Yet another Dwemer astrolabe. Unremarkable, I'm afraid. And worthless. Story of our lives. And there's a Centurion head here... why? Without the interior machinery, I'm afraid we're left to wonder. I do love wondering. Well, here's a gem. This coffer held something of special significance. Let me guess. You have no idea what it was, and it's gone now. Right, on both counts.
Another successful expedition. There were hiccups, yes, but a few bruises and one broken limb are a small price to pay for a find like this. Speaking of our find, do you have the prism? Excellent! I've already devised a number of experiments to test its capabilities. If the prison does function as a tonal codex, every scholarly journal in Tamriel will take notice. Uh, you'll receive some credits, of course. A glowing footnote, at least. Regrettably, yes. When I gather with other Dwemer scholars, I will make it my mission to stress the raw magnitude of Lenarman's failure. But there's no reasoning with some people. The mystique of the heart is just too strong. More's the pity. Yes, of course. Never let it be said that Noramo doesn't compensate his assistance. Your aid proved invaluable. I trust this is adequate? Until we meet again, my friend. Take care of yourself. I'm sure we'll meet again in some other machine-infested ruin. We did, thanks to your efforts. Got to admit, I'm shocked we made it out of there alive. Duren probably earned himself a limp, but on the whole, I'd call this a measured success. I follow Naramo to the next dig, I guess. He seems pretty excited about this Pathark whatever it is. For now, at least. Once he gets bored with it, we'll be off to our next adventure. So long as he keeps paying me, that works just fine. Take care of yourself. I'm sure we'll meet again in... Some other machine-infested ruin. I'll be honest. I thought we were going to die down there. I'm glad you and Miss Lacroix were able to prove me wrong. As for that damned High Elf, we'll... We'll never be working for him again. He cut and run the moment those mercenaries showed up. Oh, it feels good to breathe in the ash again. I may carry a limp for the rest of my days, but at least I have days to spare. Thanks again, Fla. You might wonder if this whole experience has put me off delving Dwemer ruins for a while. It hasn't. Honestly, this sort of thing happens to me all the time. Naturally, Naramo's trying to renegotiate our delving fee. Unexpected circumstances, he says. I'll show him unexpected circumstances when I ram my quill up his arse! You show great martial skill, sword friend. I erect the spine of respect. I regret not killing more of those dry-skinned mercenaries, but to see my partner safe and sound, that brings me great joy. Captured by a pack of milk-drinking elves. Oh, humiliating. Sure, they had me outnumbered in a, a hundred to one, but still. I'm glad Lotail made it out, at least. I don't know what I'd do without this stupid lizard following me around. <laughs>